So Lundgaard's fast. So uh, today we had first practice and qualifying for the Big Machine Grand Prix. I, I think it's Big Machine Spiked Coolers. I'll just call it Big Machine Grand Prix or in NASCAR IndyCar. There's a lot of names you can call it. If I say anything that sounds similar, I'm probably talking about that. Okay, so anyways, um, this episode's going to be a little less formal than the other ones. Just trying to get this one done quickly. Um, I guess because it's getting late and we've got stuff to do or whatever. But um, yeah, it was a really good uh, qualifying session and quite an interesting one um, to say the least. Now we'll go ahead and talk about what happened in the first couple sessions. Uh, you had Scott Dixon uh, spinning at the exit of the final uh, corner in terms of qualifying stuff at the exit of the interior road course section out on the, the I guess, exterior road course section. Um, now, he ended up spinning and going basically backwards and had to reverse across the line to just try to get out of the way of everyone else. Now, there's a possibility that trying to get the car spun back around to go back into the pits, then he might have ran the engine backwards, which would mean he would need a new engine. So that's the thing to watch out for. Dixon's already starting 15th or 16th, um, and an engine replacement would not at all be good for Ganassi. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the top split. Uh, so your top five, uh, Pato Award, uh, Willpower, Roman Grosjean, who seems to be quite good at Indy, Christian Lundgaard, and Colton Herta. So, four of the five guys there are, you know, IndyCar regulars that it's like, yeah, yeah, I could see a Ward, Power, Grosjean, oh, or Herta up there. Those guys are up there every week, except maybe Grosjean, but Grosjean's good at Indy. Um, really, the only surprise was, was that Jack Harvey wasn't nearly that high. But Christian Lundgaard, seriously, <laughs> is insane. Um, now, he's coming over from Alpine's driver development program. I think he was racing in F2 and was Alpine's test uh, sim driver. So, basically, Lundgaard, in practice, went and put up one of the top times. Um, and it wasn't right at the end of the session. It was with a good 10 or 15 minutes left. And then in qualifying, flat out went and put up another top time again. So, um, the top like seven or eight or something were all uh, in the final qualifying session at a 110.7. So it was a quite tight session with a ward at a uh, 110.716 uh, that I think, and then guys in seventh or eighth back in like the one, 110.7s or 110.8s. I don't have the exact results pulled up right now. Um, but seriously, Lundgarden P4, um, He's never tested at Indianapolis. He didn't even get to do an indie track walk because um, he had PR media stuff to do. Um, yeah, it's it's just insane how good Lingard is in such a short amount of time because I really didn't... I mean, my my major... Or not major, but my guess was that Lingard was going to be, you know, top 20 or something maybe in the race. That would be a good goal for him. The fact that he's stuck at P4 on the grid means that a top five is probably not going to be maybe expected, but that's a good goal for Lundgaard is to get a top five in his first IndyCar race at a track he's never raced at in a car he has tested once at Barber, not even the same track. I'm still just dumbfounded at how Lundgaard's even close to up to speed. Like, I thought he was going to be slower than Jimmy and Kellett and Enerson, and he just wasn't. He was so fast. It's just insane how quick Lundgaard is. Um, yeah, so that's that's about all I have for this episode. Lundgaard's great. Awards on the pole. Uh, that'll be interesting for the race tomorrow, obviously, because uh, Pelot was somewhere in the 6th to 10th range, range, but um, Award being on the pole will obviously put him in a better position to try to win the race, which will, of course, help him in the championship battle, which he's third in. Uh, yeah. So that's about all I have for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will be seeing you guys tomorrow. Uh, if you're at the track, I'll talk to you guys there, maybe, if you see me. And if not, uh, I'll have a video coming out probably later that day or maybe Sunday, if I can't get it out by then, uh, with a race review. And maybe I'll do some type of vlog thing. Tell me, if you, uh, tell me in the comments if you want to see something like that. Um, 
But yeah, that's about all I have. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.